I'm back again with, uh, I did some videos in regards to setting up a Wi-Fi for a friend of mine. And now I've decided to default back to Orbi. I purchased these on eBay, pretty good price. I paid about $120, $130, the exact price is down below. Uh, and the eBay seller is down below if he has any for sale. Excellent, excellent seller. I literally purchased it yesterday afternoon and I just got it in the very next day. Uh, it's almost 4 p.m. So it got to me in one day, in about 24 hours. So the guy was fast delivery. When I purchased it, probably two hours later, he already put it into the system uh, to the actual, uh, he brought it to, he or she brought it to the post office. I don't know uh, the gender of the person. So anyway, um, they got it to me quick and I'm happy and I'm defaulting back to Orbi. I tried the uh, Linksys Velop. Um, I also tried the, the uh, uh, what I think it was the Deco, Deco D-Link, I think, or TP-Link, TP-Link Deco. Yes, TP-Link Deco or Deco, it's a uh, dual band and didn't work at all for me. So let me, I went back to Orbi as my Orbeez, I have a, not the latest, not the quad Wi-Fi, which I really am interested in that technology, the quad uh, band uh, with a six, uh, Wi-Fi 6E, supposedly you get up to a gig in Wi-Fi speed, that is fast for Wi-Fi. And if you have it in your home, 10 gigs of ethernet or physical connection, uh, internet service, 10 gigs. So very future proofing uh, technology on the new Orbi. I love the Orbi uh, system, has always worked for me. And I just defaulting back to it. I was trying other ones, but I just love Orbi. Just dependable and it works. The app could be a little bit quirky, but one of the nice things is you can log in through a web page on the Orbi and have a, little, a lot more advanced features and things you can do that you can't do on the app. I wish they added it to the app. It might make it easier, but you know, it's only a login. I use my tablet to log in with a web browser or my phone. Uh, it's a little small. You have to pinch and zoom, but you can get in there and make some changes, port forwarding, things like that. Uh, it's capable through the web interface. Anyway, so I'm setting this up for a friend of mine, and this is the um, Orbi AC2200 tri-band mesh router. This is a three-pack. It came... As you can see, uh, certified refurbished from the seller. So the actual router, the model number for the router by itself is RBR40. And the satellites, these two satellites, which do not have an, uh, a WAN port, um, it's RBS20. That's the model number, RBS20. The satellites have two gigabit ethernet ports, power on and off plug and the sync button. You use that sometimes to add additional Orbeez. The other one has the same thing. The router itself has a little bit more ports, one more port actually, and the internet port, but all the other buttons the same, and the reset button. So reset uh, with the paper clip. Uh, reset also on the satellites. And power supplies, these are them. So these, it came very well packaged too. I'm sorry, I'm throwing this all over the place. The uh, packaging came excellent. The seller did excellent job. I'm very impressed. So I'm just gonna measure the power cables themselves. They didn't send me any ethernet cables, so I just have to get one. All three of them are the same size. I have all three of them here. I'll just measure it just in case you want that information. About six feet. Six feet in length. And if I haven't shown you, this is the... I took pictures, so they'll be at the end. Information on the power supplies, just in case you need to order one. And the satellite has... This, both of them are the same. That was the router plug that I just showed you. This is the satellite one. There's pictures at the end, and this is the actual plugs. 
satellite, satellite router. Okay, put that to the back for now. And the, let me just, and I just started doing this because I've noticed that when the Wi-Fi doesn't weigh anything at all, they tend to not be very good. So that's just my opinion again. I'm a regular user. I'm no expert at all. I am not an expert. So the satellite. So. A little over a pound. It's strange because I sometimes weigh the same thing. that should be the same. Uh, same weight. These are the satellites. And now the router. The router feels a little heavier. Yeah, it is. And just in case you're looking to put this on a bookcase and you need the measurement for that, show you where it'll fit. The actual router itself is about eight inches in height, about five inches wide. And thickness, uh, about two inches. These are much smaller. So this is about six and a half inches. Four and a half. And almost two, one and three quarters. This one will be the same thing. All right, let's start setting it up and see how well it works. But I just want to tell you my setup for now, and I'll let you know. Um, uh, so these are going to be my test. The main router is pretty much in the middle of my apartment. And I'm going to put one satellite 25 feet away and the other satellite 25 feet away from each other. And I told you I'm setting this up for a friend of mine. His setup's a little bit different, so I'll show you his. But I'm going to try speed test here, here, and here. See if I do well or not. Um, I have one wall, one wall in between the router and the satellite. The thing with my apartment it was that, is that it was built in the 30s, which uh, they made things differently. They didn't do sheetrock or anything like that. So I actually have metal mesh in the middle of my wall. So... They framed it out with wood, then they put a metal mesh, and then they applied like a plaster-like wall. They literally spackled on the wall. Uh, so that metal mesh causes havoc in my apartment. That's why I have to do, you know, I have to get, you know, 4,000, 5,000 uh, square foot coverage just to get rid of all the dead spots because the Wi-Fi bounces off those metal mesh walls. Now, that being said, uh, my current system is working just fine, and it is an Orbi, um, and I have no issues with it whatsoever. It's a newer model, so and I think it covers 6,000 square feet, um, but it got rid of all the dead spots all over the apartment. All right, so now I mean, let me show you my friend's setup. So this is my friend's setup. His router, in his, it's, it's in his bedroom, and it's at the, in the end of his apartment. We're gonna place a satellite near his living room slash kitchen area. Uh, one satellite, which will be about 25 feet away, maybe 20, 25 feet away. I'm gonna, I think it's about 25 feet. And then from here to here, the other satellite is gonna be an additional 25 feet uh, from this satellite, which will equal 50 feet. What I wanna try when I first get there is to try to set this one up and this one up and see if the 50 feet, uh, range if I can still get a good signal so that once I put this in the middle he just won't have any death spots whatsoever in any place in his apartment so I'm gonna do the setup and then I'll come back to do the testing um, I've done the Orbi interface I've put it online I believe um, on my channel um, how it looks and everything um, so right now I'm gonna set it up get it going and then then we'll just do regular standard speed tests. I'm going to use speedtest.net, uh, which is the application on my tablet. Real world type of thing. I'm no expert, just a regular user. And then I'm going to also use fast.com. Fast I think it's fast.com and try that out. Uh, and I'm just going to be using speed test just to make sure I'm getting a signal. And it'll be, my tablet will be the only device connected 
on the Orbi at that time. Setup is done. I got all the, the satellites connected. Everything's working. I put everything in its place and now I'm gonna just do a regular speed test. Before I go on, I just wanna tell you this is a mesh system, which means it has two five gigahertz frequencies and one 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. What's good about mesh is that the backhaul or the communication between the actual router and the satellites is done through one of the five gigahertz. You have two five gigahertz. One of them is used for communication uh, at a high rate of speed. I forget, it's either a thousand or 2000 megahertz in speed to communicate with each other. So everything goes through, MAC address, port forwarding, whatever you have and need to go from one satellite to the router, to the internet or the network or your network is done through one of the five gigahertz frequencies. The other five gigahertz frequency and the 2.4 gigahertz frequency is used just for data. So it's great because in the past, you used to have just one five gigahertz and one 2.4 and the five gigahertz would be needed or in actually even today in a dual band system, the five gigahertz frequency is used not only for data, but for communication. What happens is when you have that and there's a lot of people on the network, you have, you're gonna end up with a lot of latency. You know, it's not gonna, it's gonna slow down your network once in a blue moon or depending on how many items you have in your network, a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna test this one. So I'm gonna actually turn off my Wi-Fi. I'm turning it off. I'm right next to it. I just wanna make sure I connect to this because what happens is on a mesh system, I'm not that far away. So if I connect to this and I go to the back to test the other satellite and I don't turn off my Wi-Fi and turn it back on, I may still be able, I may still be connected to the main unit and I won't get an accurate reading from the satellite. So I usually turn it off and turn it on when I'm next to the device I'm gonna connect to. Uh, that way I know I'm connected to that device. So let me turn it back on, connect to the deco. Okay, and now I know I'm connected to the router. So we have the speed test here. Let me try it out. Turn it out very quickly. Let me see. Okay, so I'm getting my speed, which is 300 up, 300 down. Perfect, working very well. I'm getting my speeds, okay? Oh, excellent. Let me try fast.com. So here's fast.com. Let me try this one again, but it looks like I'm getting well over 200 on each. Two, 280 down, 250 up. Let me try it again. So now may, maybe I'll get in the 300 range. The test just completed. So I'm getting 290 down, 280 up. Pretty good. I, I am not, um, uh, yeah, came up. Pretty good. I'm happy at this end. Now let's try the satellite. Again, I'm gonna be turning on and off the Wi-Fi just to make sure I'm connected to the, actually this device. So turn it off, turn it on. Because I am not that far, I'm only 25 feet away, so it could still be connected to it. I uh, connect to the, I don't know why it, not connected. Okay, connected automatically, good. Now, we're going to do a standard speed test. Not bad at all. Much better than the Linksys I had over here. That was giving me one third the speed. Oh wow, I really give it to Orbi. 
even their use systems work really well. All right, let's try that again. So I'm happy, it's a second speed test. Let me do a fast.com, 258, 180, not bad for a satellite, great. And now let me go to fast.com, refresh the page, Let's see how I do here. So it's finishing up here, it's just finishing up the uploads. And I uh, got 270 and 110, not bad. The downloads are good. I do HD, again I do 300, I have a 300 up and down ISP um, service. It's files. So it's not bad at all. All right, let's go to the bedroom. Okay, again, I'm gonna disconnect and connect the Wi-Fi. All right, now let's try the speed test at the satellite in the bedroom. This one I think should be better because there's not much, there's not much covering or keeping it from communication. Or maybe the same. Two forty-five. Not bad. Two twenty-eight, two eleven, and like I told you, I have walls that have metal mesh in them, and that causes issues with the satellites. Uh, that's why I had to go extreme and get the uh, high advanced Orbi for my home. Um, the person I'm setting this up for does not have that issue. He actually lives in a home, so there should be no issues with metal in the way. Um, so I should be getting a lot better in his home. So I'll let you know if that's what happens. But I've got to say, so far, so good. I'm much more satisfied with this network, especially since it cost me so little on eBay compared to the Lynxes that I was trying out, the tri-band that they make, and then the um, and then the Deco dual band, which I was not happy with. All right, let's fast.com finish up. Still not bad. We'll come back when it finishes. Not bad. I think. Let's try it again. All right, this test, eh, it's okay. I'm gonna try it just one more time. Just one more time. So I'm totally satisfied. Now let's bring it to his home and try it out and see what we get in his home. Again, my situation is very unique. I have horrible walls. He shouldn't have issues whatsoever. So again, I'm gonna test first to 50 feet away and see if I get a, a really good signal. All right, let's, uh, next video will be at my friend's home. So I've set up the Orbi in his bedroom and we're getting up to 500 up and down right now. And now I'm gonna go to the other side of his apartment, which is about 50 feet away, and see if I still get the same Wi-Fi uh, speed. Let me just show you the speed. So now let me do the speed test in his bedroom. The router is about four feet, five feet away from me. We were getting 500, so. Pretty good. And again, I'm gonna try it out going all the way to the other side. I'm getting an average of 300 to 500. Look at that. Now let me try fast.com. Fast.com. Okay, 400 and 290, let's try it again. Sometimes fast.com needs a second chance. 
So again, 500 and 220. I'm, it's doing really, really well. So now let's go to the other end of the apartment, 50 feet away. All right, so now we'll try the, trip, we're 50 trip. feet away and we'll try it again. Fast.com. The uh, signal strength, I have no idea. So I'm getting 35, we'll try that again. Let me give, let me make sure that I'm connected. All right, so I did it again. Sometimes fast.com needs two tries. Not bad compared to the fact that they weren't getting any internet at the end of this apartment, which is 50 feet away. We have about two, uh, about three walls in between us. Uh, and it's still picking up a signal for you. I, you can still get um, uh, 4K video with this. All right, so that's what we're getting. I'm gonna go to the other side of the wall. It has more of a direct shot to the actual router. Uh, with nothing in the way. So let's try that. Sorry, before we go there, I also like to do the regular. My Wi-Fi speed test.net. Try this one out and see what we get uh, from that far away. Uh, about average, same thing. And let me come back when it's finished. All right, so not bad. 50, 25, you can still stream 4K with that speed. Now let's go to the other side where uh, it's a direct shot just to the router. Again, I'm just testing the router at 50 feet away. I haven't set up the satellites at all. Okay, so let's go to this speed test really quickly. And this is more of a direct shot. Hmm. I have no idea why it's doing it. It has a direct shot to it. Maybe I'm not high enough. Let me just hold it in my hand. No. But I'm still picking up a signal, which is not bad. Let me come back. So this is over 50 feet, uh, 50 feet away with some obstacles. I thought this had more of a direct shot, but I guess uh, you can't get away from those walls. Let's try fast. .com. So 61 and 15, similar to the other side. So I guess I still have the same obstacles. Now we're going to install the satellite all the way at the end. So now we're only doing two sat uh, one satellite. It'll be the router at one end of the apartment and the satellite at the other end and see if it improves our speed. We've just plugged in the satellite. It's coming up. And make sure it makes a connection. It should turn blue and then off. Okay, it's turning purple, so it should be making communication soon and then it'll just turn off. All right, so again, I turned off my Wi-Fi to make sure I don't connect to uh, the main unit and that I connect to the satellite all 50 feet away. And I'm gonna wait for the deco to come up. Okay, connect it instantaneously. Now let's try this. So now this is the speed test with the satellite. All right, gonna try it a couple of times. And again, I'm still putting the one in the middle, but this is not bad for it being this far away and, and uh, about three, three walls. There's one wall that's very thick, probably about three feet. It's a column actually. So that's causing some issues I see in the apartment. Let me try it again. And then I'll try fast.com. And when I put the one in the center, we'll see the biggest difference. All right, not bad. Let me see. All right, it's not bad. Whereas they weren't picking up any signal at all over here with their current Wi-Fi system. So now let's set up the center satellite. It's going to be in the middle, which will be 25. So it'll be the router. 25 feet away will be the one satellite and then 25 feet away from the, I actually should say rephrase it because it's 50 feet long. So it's technically uh, the router and then it's going to be about 15 feet away for, or 20 feet I should say, for the uh, middle, which is the dining room, living room. And then um, that's 30, uh, I'm sorry, that's about, yeah, sorry, 30 feet away. So the router. 30 feet away will be the center uh, satellite, and then 20 feet more will be the third satellite. So let's put the one in the middle now. With the center uh, satellite set up, this is the speed we're getting. Let me do it again. 400, 300. Excellent speed. So again, about 30 feet away from the router, and then that one's about uh, another 20 feet to the last satellite. Wow, 400, let me come back when it finishes. That's excellent speed. 
So at the end, 355, 477, excellent. This is the one in the center of the apartment. Now I'm gonna go to the, well, let me try the fast.com. So with fast.com, 450, 350, excellent. Now let me go back to the end and see if that uh, speed has increased, the one, the last satellite, the one at the end of the apartment. So now we're at the end of the apartment and yep, it's increased, 190. 200. We'll try it again too, but I'll show you when I finish. So uh, let me try it again. 218, 163. Again, this is the last satellite. All right, 221, 163. I'm gonna end the speed, no, the speed.net one. Now I'm gonna go to fast.com. Okay, 220, 140. Excellent, we've increased. Well, first we didn't have anything, but we've increased it with just two satellites uh, from about 100 to 200. So it's doubled the speed with the satellite in the middle in between the router and the last satellite. So I actually had the uh, privilege of being able to go upstairs to the apartment above where another family member lives and I'm trying out the Wi-Fi from one floor up and see how well it works. So I'm right now in technically the living room. Wow, so 225. 243 at the living room upstairs. Let me try the center. Center of the apartment. I'll come back when it's done. 350, 278, center apartment upstairs. Let's try at the end of the apartment. So this is the bedroom just above the router. And yeah, we're getting pretty good speech. 350, 342. Let me come back. 327, 296. Excellent. So now I'm 25 feet away from the apartment building. They're on the second floor and I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal, about 25 feet away. Again, uh, the building, the outside part is brick. So that's just probably causing some of the interference, but I'm still getting a signal outside, which is great. That means that inside they're getting a signal in every single corner of the apartment. They are getting a signal in every corner of their apartment. There is no issues. And the upstairs apartment is also, which is another family member, third floor, getting great signal awesome. so let's come back when this is finished yeah so it's pretty good at that speed i mean 15 18 i have to tell you i am just totally happy with orby orby just works and uh this project worked the people i did it for are very happy with the outcome and now their wi-fi issues are completely gone they are picking up wi-fi their apartment's about a thousand square feet and they are picking up Wi-Fi in every single corner now. And the, small, the uh, lowest speed we're getting is 200. 200 on Wi-Fi. All right, thank you for watching the video. I hope the video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, put the questions below. I try to answer as soon as I get the questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.